Hi, this is a video about reading and feeling guilty about it. I studied English, language, and culture at Leiden University, and as you might expect, that involved a lot of reading. I focused on literature courses. I never had the choice to pick between a couple of different courses. I would always go for literature. When we still had lectures in my first and second year, I really enjoyed those, because I really liked to just sit back and take in all the information. Then later on, we mostly just had group discussions, which were a bit challenging sometimes, because as any student knows, there's always those classes where no one speaks up and it's just really quiet and awkward for a very long time. On average, every semester I would be taking between two or three literature courses. I think in my last year I might have even done four in one semester. So this involved a whole bunch of reading. Basically my homework for the week would be, hey, here's four novels, read all of them. And I did not do that. I recently went through all my coursework and made a list of every poem and every book that I was ever assigned during my entire university education. As you might imagine, it's a very long list. It's also a bit depressing to look at. I think I probably read a fifth of everything I had to read. I think for about half I would read anywhere between about 100, 150 pages, and then for the rest of the books I just didn't read anything. Now I know that I'm not the only one who did this, and I also feel like it's a part of university just trying to balance out what you have time to do, trying to survive underneath this mountain of coursework. But it doesn't mean that I don't feel guilty about it. As soon as someone put a deadline on a book I didn't want to read it anymore. It would happen so often that I would come to class having read only a couple of pages in the book, and then finding the discussion really interesting and going home wanting to read the book. But then I couldn't because I had to get ready for the next week. If I look at all the books on my bookshelves that I haven't read, there are a lot of them that I would really like to read now. And hopefully I will. I'm definitely trying to go through this list and picking out books throughout the year so I can slowly catch up and feel less guilty. I also have a lot of friends who are very, very well read. I could mention any book that I've read or that I want to read and they'll have read it and every other work by the same author. I'm also working on a project where I'm making a list of every book that I'm reading in my 20s. And if I look at that list, it's really sad. I've read so many poor quality books. I've also done so much rereading of childhood favorites. And I know that one of the reasons that I'm very behind is that I only started reading English books when I was 16. And at that age, some people had been reading classics for years. I don't know if you guys realize how much time I spend working on videos. I probably spend a third of all my waking hours working on videos. It takes a lot of time, and sometimes I think that I could have spent that time on reading books. What I'm doing is also not completely useless. If I spend my time motivating other people to read and also working on my editing skills and archiving my own memories and doing social media stuff, which hopefully eventually will get me a job. I don't feel like I'm wasting my time, but there's so many nights when it's midnight and I'm still editing a video. And I know that if I didn't have to edit a video, I would have been in bed two hours ago reading. So those are my thoughts on feeling guilty about reading or not reading. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments and I'll I'll talk to you later. Doei! Hello, Miku.